what's up you two super oh no lucky here and welcome to the war of the gods but first i want to ask you guys to check out the channel subscribe for more insane and definitely godly Yu-Gi-Oh videos and please give this a thumbs up because we are doing a giveaway today guys we are doing a giveaway all you guys need to do is give this video a thumbs up post in the comments below which deck do you think is better or will win the war of the gods see Yesterday, or our last video, we talked about your favorite. Now, let's, who's actually going to win? Is it the Slifer deck with Layer of Darkness? Or is it Obelisk with his uh, special summoning monsters from the deck? <laughs> All right, you guys. Let us know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. We are giving away two Slifer decks, two Obelisk decks, four separate winners. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. We'll announce the winners of this video and last video in our next video as well, guys. So be ready for that. But yeah, you guys, this is War of the Freaking Gods. Today, I have Rare Hunter with me today. Hello, everybody. And so he's going to be helping us out with this epic War of the Gods. Um, speaking of Rare Hunters, Rare Hunters, the original, you know, Slifer deck. It was a Rare Hunter that used it, and so we're pretty excited for that. Um, but also, I'll be using Kaiba's little Obelisk deck here, or just the Obelisk deck. So that should be pretty fun, you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being here, and let's get started with the War of the Gods. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's time to duel. And yes, you guys may have noticed there's no sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we thought the cards might do a little better if they were raw. See how I use raw there? Because there's raw. Yeah. Raw the the god card. Yeah. How would you like to decide who goes first? Oh yeah, we gotta roll. Let's roll. Oh, okay, you got him. Here we go. Highest roll. So you goes first. Classic rules. Yeah. All right. So if you go first, you draw six. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, only one field spell, but that doesn't matter because you're the only one with field spell. Here we go. Yu Yu! Oh! Six versus nice. three. All right. You're going to go first. <laughs> okay. It's all right, guys. We uh, we can we can make a comeback from that. <laughs> Yu Yu! Yu Yu! All right, go ahead. Let's see it. The Slifer deck of destiny, you guys. I'll play card advance. Look at the top five cards of your deck, then place them on the top of the deck in any order. You can tribute summon one monster in addition to your normal summoner set this turn. Wow. Do I have that in my deck? I don't think so. <laughs> Do I get to see the top five cards? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> Look at the top five cards, then place them on the top in any order. Yeah, I don't think I get to see them. Wow. That's like a Magic the Gathering card right there or something. That's a pretty good Yu-Gi-Oh card. I was going to say, did you not change anything? You just uh, left it as it was. I'm not quite sure how I want to You want to show, show the camera? Show them, show them what you got. All right. Don't show it to me. This is what we got, guys. All yeah. right, let's see it. Good? Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. All right, how are the cards guide you, my friend? I will see. Actually, no, you're not my friend. You're a rare hunter. <laughs> I'm taking the Slifer from you after this duel, Duelist. Oh, nice. We get to play for the God card. We're playing for the God card. Let's go. All right, go ahead, Duelist. Two cards face down? No two, monsters? Two cards face down. All right, I'm ready. Come on, Harpy's Feather Duster! Wow, good thing it was already in my hand, Harpy's Feather Duster! Oh no! <laughs> None of them are quick activates? Oh, Book of Moons in there? Activate Metal Reflex on a special summon this card in defense position as an effect monster. This card is also still, still a trap. Still a trap, bye-bye. Uh -oh. <laughs> Harpy's Feather Duster. Epic, all right. Too strong. And I summon Ra's Disciple! <laughs> Summoning two Ra's Disciples from my deck in attack position. Are you ready for this duelist? This is gonna hurt. Here we go, here we go. I then set one card face down. Attack for 3,300 points of damage with each Ra slicing up your life points. Like I said earlier, Ra! Duel. Okay. <laughs> good luck, guys. All right, good luck. Go ahead. <laughs> Drop. Dude, Harpy's Feather Duster, Raw Disciple. Can you beat my Wombo Combo Duelist, Rare Hunter? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Let's find out. You're reading a card. It must be an interesting card. This is a very interesting card. Does it have to do with your fate? Yes, it does. <laughs> I will activate Draw a Fate. Oh, if boy. If you're you don't need to read the whole thing. Just tell them, tell them what it does in like... 
Oh, okay. Let's find out. <laughs> if, if your life points are lower than your opponent's, and your opponent controls a monster with the highest attack on the field, even if it's side reveal, three cards with different names from your deck. Wow. Place them in a random order on top of your deck and draw one card. Okay, so I'll shuffle them for you or something? Yep. Okay. So. That's pretty cool. So basically, did you actually set yourself up for that? <laughs> I'm like curious. Arma, I actually didn't. My hand was uh, very wonderful. Well, now it's even better. Reveal three cards with different names. All right, so you can't reveal three of these guys. I saw what you were trying to do there. Player of Darkness. Oh. This card seems really good. <laughs> Oh, you cannot sell, set spell and traps for the rest of the turn, though. <laughs> so there. <laughs> no, I think we'll be all right. And we'll do... Ooh, the dark shade. So, you're going darkness on me. I'm trying to get some kind of wombo combo going on. There, you can shuffle a little bit and put them on top. I believe in you, Duelist. The draw of fate. Go ahead. All right. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Can you defeat my Ross Disciples? You cannot set spell and traps. And you can only activate one more card or effect. <laughs> that is not the best card, Duelist. <laughs> what do you got, Duelist? I will normal summon Phantom Sky Blast. Okay. Special, activate. Special summon a token. Alright. Uh, attack a Ross Disciple. Trade? Yep. Woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Heart of the cards, guide me. Draw! Well, well, well. Well, well, well. All right, let me see. Are these zeros? Yes. 500? 500. Oh, okay. 500, 500, basically zeros. All right. I will activate Call of the Haunted. On Ra's Disciple. Oh no. I will then attack with Ra's Disciple, destroying your 500 500 token. Then attack with two more Ra's Disciple. Dude, Ra is beating you up right now, man. <laughs> that is five Ra's Disciple attacks, guys. Is that how this game's gonna go? That's how it's gonna go. Then I enter my main phase two, and you're lucky. I'm gonna just set a trap card and then summon Obelisk, the Tormentor, tributing my Ra's Disciples. Beautiful. When that card leaves the field, destroy that monster. Destroy this card. I think this stays on the field. We'll leave it there for now. Obelisk, the Tormentor has arrived, Duelist. I then end my turn. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's right. Drop. Am I in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> I activate Layer of Darkness. No, not the Layer of Darkness. And then I special summon Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord, by tributing your Obelisk to Tormentor. Just like that? <laughs> Is that how good Layer of Darkness is? Yeah. So what's happening is Layer of Darkness makes everything dark, and then it says one time you contribute one of my monsters per your turn, and if you can need it for some sort of effect. Correct. And this guy says he can tribute dark monsters. Just special summon himself. So you're tributing my dark monster, because this says you can use one of my guys per turn. And Obelisk is gone in two seconds from this two-card combo. Yes. Sorry, Obelisk. <laughs> no Today boy. was not your day. And then at the end of the turn, for every time you tribute a card during your turn, you get tokens. But I also get that effect. That you so I triggered a little too early there. I went a little too early. Oh. Because you wouldn't have been able to tri tribute those, because they're raw disciples. That's right. I learned a lesson there. But I still got an Obelisk the Tormentor. <laughs> Obelisk the Tormentor. And that was a special summon, right? Yes. All right, what do you got? What are you doing? What are you looking at graves for? You seriously <laughs> have Monster Reborn? Can you kill me? Almost. Oh my god. So, what is what is the. So, if you do have Monster Born, it says if this card's special, I'm sent to the grave at the end of the turn. During the end phase. So. Yeah, it's okay. Well, this, it's, oh, this also gains 500 for every monster that I tribute to special. So, he's 1,000 attack? Yes. Alright. I will attack for 1,000. I'll end my turn and activate Layer of Darkness. Get a token. Tribute 1, which is 1,000, 1,000 tokens. Oh boy, oh boy. My turn? Yes. Yu Yu! All right, well then, yeah. I activate Different Dimension Time Capsule. Yes, I added the word time because it reminds me of Dragon Balls. Z. <laughs> 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 All 
Alright, hold on, hold on. Where is something big? I think this will do the trick here. Totally. That's like Gold Sarcophagus, right? Uh, two turns from now. So banish one card from your deck face down. After this card's activation remains on the field, destroy during your second standby phase. And if you do, add the banish card. So, let me get a, you got a dice, I got a dice over here. Two standby phases. Uh-oh. Uh, I think it's a good card. We'll find out. And then, I will special summon Evil Mandagora. Attack. <laughs> I take 550? Yeah, go ahead, Dylan. I can't keep taking damage like that. No, yeah, you're gonna go down, dude. You took a big hit from... from, uh... Ross Disciples. He's been beating me up this whole time. All right, go ahead, Dylan. Drop. Oh, uh, normal summon. Really? Uh, Amara, oh, yeah, you put those cards on the top of your deck. Amara, the Wicked Warden. Um, I will use its effect to tribute a dark monster. I'll use Layer of Darkness to tribute your monster instead to be able to draw a card. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And is Amir's Lair of Darkness in his deck a little little too good? What do you guys think? I think so. Attack for 17? Or inner battle phase? Inner battle phase. Attack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First damage. First damage is in! Alright. My move? Uh, I will end my turn and get a token. Oh boy. Are those thousand thousands you don't want to attack with your tokens? No. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. One more turn and I get my super special awesome card. Draw! What? Yo, Pot of Avarice off the top! No. Let's go! Let's go! One, two, three, four, five! What just happened? You got Monster Reborn in your hand? You should have used it, Duelist. You should have used it. I wanted to get both cards out at the same time. <laughs> no, not today. No. Not today. Oh, crap. That means I got to do something right now. <laughs> You just realize what that means? Yeah, I do realize what that means. Oh, crap. All right, here we go. I was like, that's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Here's my Yugi shuffle, by the way, guys. I've been practicing this all day. yu gi -Oh! All right. <laughs> Yo, pot of avarice off the top. And this might have been better than a pot of greed in this situation. I just want to say. I that, just want to say. That was amazing. All right. yu gi -Oh! Go! That could have been really good. What happened? I think it's all right still. Hold on, hold on. Uh, bu -bu -bu brain control. Pay 800 life points to take your guy that can be normal summon. Right. <laughs> take 800. Pay 800 life. Dude, I just drew a brain control off the top of my deck. All right. You can tribute a dark monster, right? Other than this card. Seriously? You can tribute himself too. You can? Mm -hmm. It says, Hold if, on. Right. if you tribute a dark monster. You can tribute one dark monster, draw one card. Oh, okay, all right. Other than this card, you can go get a big 2,000 defense guy. All right, got that guy, got it. All right, I'm feeling good. Feeling real good. I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna normal summon Nimble Beaver. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go special summon a level three or lower Nimble monster from my deck. I'm gonna go get the Nimble Mega Hamster as a four star, just kidding, ha ha ha. I'm gonna go get <laughs> the nimble Momonga. Momonga. Yes. And uh, I think I'm just going to get him in defense. I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Figure it out. Cut. All right. Then, I'm going to top deck. Watch it happen. Attack. Destroy your token. Uh-oh. Main phase two. Tribute a dark monster to draw a card. <laughs> you got to draw way too many cards. I did. That was crazy. Draw. All right, not bad. I then end my turn. <laughs> Hold on though. I tributed one of your monsters, so I get my own token. Right, one monster? Yep. All right, go ahead. <laughs> I used your lair of darkness against you, duelist. That's right, rare hunter. I know how to use the darkness as well. You sure do. <laughs> that actually wasn't very good for me. Let's go. Monster Reborn, yeah, I was gonna say, I know you still got it. Monster Reborn. The Tributor. Yeah. All right. Tribute, Nimble Momonga. Nimble Momonga! To draw a card, since it's a dark and layer of darkness allows me to tribute my opponent's monsters. Does it really? It sure does. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna beat you down, Duelist. <laughs> Battle phase. No! My layer of darkness token attack. No! Nimble Beaver for 600? Not the beaver! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Attack the token. All right, that's my token. I will set two cards. What are you setting down? And end my turn and acquire a new layer of darkness token. All right. Go ahead. <sighs> this is a tough game duelist. I should put this in the middle. Oh yeah, because there can only be one? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I draw for my turn! No freaking way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was bad, guys. And my different dimension time capsule activates, getting to my hand. One super awesome special card. That's kind of cool. It is cool. I'm happy that worked for you. Thank you. <laughs> it's supposed to work way better than this. I think a lot of you guys know the combo I was going for, but my last two draws were these. So now I'm uh, not really comboing very well. Crap. <laughs> You're probably gonna do something pretty cool, huh? I was going to. Um, I am going to end my turn here. Are you sure about that? I have to give it a go. Drop. What do you got in here? Not enough. <sighs> What's my life? 49. Activate Reckless Greed. Oh boy. Here we go. One. Two. Trying to see. Here we go! How far we can get. Special summon the crow. I will tribute three monsters. No. To special summon. No. Slifer. Slifer the Sky, Sky Dragon! Dragon. Alright. How many cards are there? Dude, you're off by 200. What are you looking at your graveyard now? You already used Monster Born. Did you draw Pot of Avarice? I've had Pot of Avarice. <laughs> Jesus! This guy, you're not drawing next turn either. I will. Enter my battle phase. Okay. Attack for 3,000. I activate Drowning Mirror Force! <laughs> Rare Hunter, you have fallen into my trap. You have fallen into my trap. <laughs> when your opponent monster declares a direct attack, shuffle all attack position monsters into the deck. Be drowned. But you still have your layer of darkness, so you're fine. Honestly, I'm in trouble still. I swear to God, if I draw another Ra's Disciple. <laughs> all right, I will end And we did your turn. You sure you want to end? Nothing else in your hand you want to do? All right, I thought so. Two traps. Have I already used Harvey's Feather Duster? Yeah. You don't have many traps in your deck, Duelist. Metal Reflex Slime and... Nope, you already used it. Level? Freaking weird level card in Mirror Force? Weird level card in Mirror Force. All right, well, I got called a Haunted on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I can't beat a Mirror Force. Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh! Holy crap, that would have been cool. Need some help for that one later on, guys. I summon the Condemned Witch. That's a good card. It's a very good card. When this card is normal summon, add a Forbidden Quick Play spell from your deck to your hand. I'll go get Forbidden Droplets. <laughs> oh wait, they didn't. They didn't put that in here, guys. They should have though. They should have. Okay, go get a Forbidden Spell, and then during your opponent's main phase, quick effect. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect. <laughs> I gotta get the address. Forbidden dress. I'm prepared. I'm ready to do this. Have you used Harvey's Feather Duster? No. No. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't get to draw for my next two turns, so. All right. That's true, that's true. I'm in it to win it, boys. I'm in it to win it. I will shuffle my hand real quick and then set one card face down, <laughs> and then I will set one other card face down. Oh no! <laughs> Just in case you have a breaker or some shenanigans. And then I will end my turn. Um, draw phase, skip due to Reckless Greed. All right. Normal summon card guard. Oh crap. I will add a guard counter. Guard to counter? 
So he gains 300 attack, and then if I choose to move my guard counter, I can move it to a any, face up card. A face up card. So I could do it to a spell. Yeah, we used this card back in like toolbox days, maybe a little after, obviously, because it's newer looking. But yeah, you can keep your spells alive. But I'll leave him as a 19 for now, and I will attack Condemned Witch. Uh, main phase. When I go to yeah. Okay. End of your main phase tribute, Condemned Witch. Uh, special summon one level four uh, fairy monster from your deck. Except condemn witches. Uh, I think everyone knows what I want to do right now. Do I have any other options though? This is about to get ugly. My four star fairy is Ra's disciple. Put my hand and or deck. I know. From my hand, two more Ra's disciples. Oh god, that was not so fun. No. <laughs> All right. Battle face? Battle face. Uh, card guard, declare attack on Ra's Disciple. All right, I will take, what is he at, 19? 800 points of damage. Ra's Disciple is destroyed. I will activate enemy controller. Oh no. Guarding the battle face still. All right, so in the battle phase, cost? I will tribute yep. my token to target Ra's. Uh, cannot be targeted. Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Forbidden Dress, my Ra's Disciple. So you're forcing me to use Forbidden Dress. Correct. Okay. And then I will end my turn and get my token back due to Layer of Darkness. Cool. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so you just traded Enemy Controller for Forbidden Dress? Yes. Interesting. All right. So whether it was Lance or Dress, same thing kind of happened. Interesting. <laughs> Go All right. Ahead. My turn? Yes, Duelist. Do you get another one for me tributing as well? Oh. For tributing? I think I do. Okay. I lost my Here we go. I got you. I got there you. There we go. Okay. All right. Heart of the cards guide me, guys. I'm trying to beat up this card guard. Do you? <laughs> These cards are for real right now. <laughs> All right. Um, I will summon the unmasked dragon. Ooh. That's good. <laughs> That's it. I will then. You have Mirror Force Duelist? Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I have to try. Well, I already summoned him, so let's go ahead and do these two in defense. I can't even do that. And then they're going to get beat up by the tokens. Oh, my God. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't draw yeah. yet again. You really do have Mirror Force. Who knows? You think I do. <laughs> <laughs> Attack Ra's Disciple. Alright, 800. My turn? Yeah. Do you know? Set one monster face down. Can you draw next turn? I can finally draw next turn. Oh my gosh. I've been stunted. Yes. Attack. <laughs> Got rid of a token. Go ahead. Draw. Yu Yo! Um, battle face. Okay. Attack Ra's Disciple. <laughs> <laughs> Another 800 points of damage. I had to get my payback on those Ra's Disciples for earlier this game. They were beating me up. Oh, okay. Set. My turn? Go ahead. Go! <sighs> Flip summon Super Nimble Mega Hamster. You can special summon level 3 or lower beast monster from your deck and face down defense. I will go and special summon a Nimble Mamonga. I guess I Nimble Mamonga. <laughs> I'm in it to win it, boys. I'm in it to win it. All right. Nimble Mamonga goes face down. And then I have summoned. No, you have I not. have not summoned. You just flip summoned your super nimble mega hamster. My super nimble mega hamster, okay. That card was good for yeah, a long I, time. I think so too. I think it's the best card. All right, I am going to, I am still very much afraid of Mirror Force. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack that card. This one? Yeah, the one in the middle. <laughs> okay. With my 1100 attack. All right, I'm then gonna tribute two of my monsters for Mare Mare. Oh wow. Yes, Mare Mare's effect activates 
I lower its level by one, right? During your main phase, you reduce its level by one if you do special summon a Mare Mare token. It is a 300, 200. I'm gonna put the Mare Mare over here, token over here. Let's go, actually, let's put it over here. All right, so that's the Mare Mare token. Now, I am then gonna end my turn and put two more tokens for tributing two monsters from Layer of Darkness. These are the thousand attack tokens. Nice. And then, how strong is it? 2100. It loses a level each time? It loses a level each time. Oh. If you do special summon, you can use this effect thrice. What? You can use that thrice per turn? <laughs> well, I played it right because I had two tokens coming, but still, thrice per turn. Go ahead. Draw. Yu-Gi-Oh! It's been a while since you've drawn, Duelist. It has been. Good luck. I'm, you like how I'm playing around your mirror force? I'm concerned. <laughs> I will... I will not. Yes, I will. I will change both of my tokens to attack position. Oh boy. What does it mean? <laughs> I will enter my battle phase. I will use card guard to attack a thousand thousand token. I'll take this one. Done. I will use blue token to attack Nimble Mamonga. Nimble Mamonga. All right. Nimble Mamonga dies. Did you know I had another one in here? Is that why you're so confident? <laughs> All right. I'll go special summon one more Nimble Mamonga from the deck. And face down defense, right? And I will also attack that Nimble Mamonga with my other token. Oh, uh, looks like you knew what was coming there. All right. I gained 2,000 attack though, right? Or 2,000 uh, life points. And you gained 2,000 life. That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> so, we have both shuffled our god cards back into our decks. Yours through the Mirror Force, mine through the Pot of Avarice. We are both trying to come back from almost losing. I am playing around a Mirror Force right now. That you think I have. That I think you have. That you seem pretty confident that you have. I don't know, maybe. Maybe. We'll have to find out. Alright, Heart of the Cards guide me. Yu Yu! Alright, so, says here, Thrice per turn, I can summon thrice tokens, all right? Thrice tokens, I summon thee. So go down two levels, so three levels overall, right? Yes, and then this one is the bigger one, so. That's the bigger one? Yes, well, it's over. It's, all right, yeah, we don't, we don't have any position cards. This will just help yeah. us remember. Those are all the little baby tokens. That's the medium token. All right, so now, using my Mare Mare tokens, I tribute one. Two, three monsters, four, Obelisk the Tormentor for the second time. That's not right. That's not right at all. And you're thinking like, oh man, I'm good. I got this Mirror Force. I got this Card Guard. You're not good, Duelist. You're not good. First off, you're a 1950 life. So let me show you just how powerful Obelisk is. I activate Fist of Fate. Destroy oh, no. your card guard. How do I destroy card guard? Because guess what happens? This card can't be negated. This card negates the effects of one effect monster you control. So, Mr. Counters do stuff kind of thing. Does that make it disappear? Either way, maybe, I don't know. It says, if so, negate that effect and then destroy that monster. And the effects of the effects monsters with the original name, same name, cannot be activated. Cool. Alrighty. So does it actually get destroyed? All right, let's just say it does get destroyed because I don't think it matters. So let's just, psh, just say it was fisted of fate, all right? Oh, man. Negated and destroyed. But either way, this Harpy Feather does to you. Destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls. Is that all the same effect? No, it's a period. It's a whole new, whole new uh, thing. So can I chain? Yeah, you can chain. I will chain level resist wall. Level resist wall? Okay. When you did have Mirror Force. I did have Mirror Force. <laughs> All right, if a monster you control is destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect, target one of those monsters. Wait, you can activate it mid-chain? That's this what I'm resolving? saying, I can't. That's why I was asking, it's, just, it's all a resolution. It's actually. all in the same card, right? Yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna get destroyed. <laughs> this. Fist of fate destroying your fields. <laughs> Obelisk the Tormentor oh, no. with 4,000 attack points. Let's jump, double fist these little layer of darkness tokens here for 3,000 points of damage. I don't know how to use this, but death. Death. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good game, man. Holy crap. I can't believe we summoned three god cards. Three god cards in I one game. I almost had both of them out at the same time. That was scary.
that pot of avarice came in clutch. Probably that, saved my soul. Oh yeah, definitely. Saved That's my soul. That's crazy though. I've never seen pot of avarice rip like that <laughs> in my life. Absolute insanity, you guys. All right, game two. All right, you guys, it's game two time. That game one was probably one of the most epic games possible with these two decks. That pot of avarice top deck was absolute bonkers. That, that was, was crazy. Insanity. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys, so that game one, we can't really beat that. Um, I didn't expect to win that either. I thought he had that, but it was whoever drew their God card first was ever able to play it. That's really what happened. But it's interesting. Those dark cards are so good. Oh, yeah. And the fact that I was able to use it, I think is really what helped me. I think Reckless Greed really hurt me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reckless Greed was a minus one for you, kind of. Well, right? I thought that was going to be the kind of the end of it. I wasn't expecting to get the Mirror Force. <laughs> That's true. And I played around that Mirror Force. That was good. Yeah. And well, because it was the only card I could lose to, I feel like in that situation. Oh so. yeah, you definitely have to play safe there. After seeing what happened to me, so to, to the drowning mirror force. But you were going for game, or no, you were still off by two hundred mm -hmm. life points. So I was going to tribute to draw an extra card and get another token. That was pretty much the only thing you could have done differently, though. Yeah. It's tribute to draw. So maybe that would have changed it. Would have been an extra token. Well, you got to win this game. We'll find out. Are right, you going first? Six cards. Yes, please. <laughs> oh man. Six cards. Dude, those raw disciples slapping you in the face in the beginning of that game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh boy. Normal summon, my wicked warden. Okay, you wanna set up life points for these guys real quick? Beautiful. So I'll normal summon Arm of the Wicked Warden. Uh, special summon Crow, since I control a dark monster. Well, look at you go. I'll tribute to I Crow. feel like I'm playing a meta deck right now. <laughs> <laughs> tribute Crow to draw a card. Actually, you I'm can going go get to a, search. Yeah, you're gonna go get the 2,000 attack, or the 15, 500, 2,000 yeah, attacks. I think it's he's my only target. If you tribute a dark monster, right? That's the rule other you're than, going. Other than him. If you tribute a dark monster other than him, you are able to go search out a 2,000 or less defense dark monster, which is the special summon guy you guys saw last 2,000 or more. 2,000 more. So you could go get a Graffa. <laughs> a Graffa? <laughs> Whatever happened to Graffa? I think there's a there's an actual boss monster in this deck we're missing. Diablo's Dragon or something. I don't know, but this guy's really cool. Overall, the card itself is pretty solid. Yeah. Let's see it. I will set one card face down and end my turn. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I will draw! Oh wow, I haven't actually gotten this guy yet. Pretty cool. All right, you guys, here we go. My turn. Hard <laughs> of the cards guide me. I'm gonna set one card face down, one other card face down, and then I'll end my turn. I'll draw. I will normal summon Phantom Sky Blaster and activate effect. And his effect is? <laughs> my his effect is I can special summon Sky Blaster tokens equal to the number of monsters I control. I control two monsters, so I'll, Whoa. I'll special summon Relax, Duelist. <laughs> two tokens. Okay. And um, they're 500 attack and defense, and they are Dark Fiends. So I'm going to use Arma to tribute a Dark Monster to draw a card. Wow, look at you go. You don't even have Layer of Darkness out, and you're killing it. Don't even need it. What a Duelist. Um, battle phase. Battle phase, let's see it. Attack with Arma the Wicked. Take 100 points of damage, Duelist. Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's <laughs> summon level three buster face down. That was the only one I didn't want to see. Yep, Nimba Mamonga. Nimba Mamonga, huh? My defense is activated. You want to attack Nimble before I get all shuffling? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do not. All right, that's okay with me. I so. can't have you summon an obelisk right now. <laughs> We'd be having some issues. Some issues with the obelisk, the tormentor, eh? Go ahead. All right, here we go. So this is 500. 500, 500. And then just got normal 17 and 11. Yes. All right. Part of the cards guide me. Yo, yo! Uh, I am gonna go ahead and activate Angel One in my hand. This card says you can special summon this card from your hand by revealing a level seven or higher monster from your hand. Okay. Reveal Mare Mare. Oh. oh. <laughs> Tr <laughs> Trouble's on the way, isn't it, Hunter? I believe so. Or sorry, Rare Hunter. Um, this card says here, normal sum without tributing, while you control, s while six or more cards are banished. That is interesting. This card's normal special summon. Okay. So, that is a special summon. Special summon. All right. 
And then I am going to, it says here, while you control this special summon card, you can tribute summon a level seven monster in addition to a normal or set for the turn. Yeah. So I'm gonna tribute Nimble Momonga for Gizmek, right? Mm -hmm. that's, my, that's my normal tribute for the turn or normal summon. Yeah. And then in addition, I can do an additional one, correct? Right. In addition, I will tribute these two cards and bring out Mare Mare. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, does this actually work that way? You can discard once per turn. If this card is normal or special, you can discard one monster to add a monster whose attack and defense is equal to its own from your deck to your hand. Is that, that's true? So I can go ahead and discard, let's say, a Nimble Momonga. Mm -hmm. And then add the other guy? Yeah, and add the other guy. So this doesn't even need to target a monster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I could have summoned Mare Mare Mer first. All right, so Mare Mare's out. This guy's discarding a card to go add a... Uh, Try. Guzu. Guzu, goo, 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 gizme, goo, goo. And then this guy can special summon when a monster is special from the main deck, correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I have a 2150 and a 2100, but as you see, I got a Mare Mare here. Mare Mare is here. So I'm gonna activate Mare Mare's effect up to thrice per turn. Thrice. Thrice. Three tokens. That's, Three levels. That's wonderful. I don't play Lynx. <laughs> I was gonna say, you're gonna lower it a couple and like, see or what? <laughs> Not this time. All right. Now I will enter my battle phase. You ready? 2150, attack the 21 or 11. I take 1050. 1050. The 2100 here, attack the 17. I take 400. 400. Ooh, getting out my tribute combos. That was pretty good. All right, go ahead, Gullis. Come on. The heart of the cards. <laughs> Did it guide you? No. <laughs> Activate Reckless Screed. Oh boy, you're getting reckless over there, Rare Hunter. One, two. Was it worth it? I think so. All right. All right, Jules, what you got? Well, we're gonna try to stay alive for a little bit longer. We're gonna special summon Kenny Spirit Mishuda. Oh, in defensive position because you have no effect monsters? That is correct. You have a weird little Sky Blaster token? I will set one card in face down defense position in my turn. That actually is a pretty big wall for this deck, Dulles. If I draw Obelisk! Or that. <laughs> or that, that's not good. What does that do? <laughs> <laughs> Though I will tribute two Mare Mare tokens for my other Gizmek monster, the Festive Fox. Oh, yeah. Um, if you normal or special monsters, you take 300 damage. No, no, wait, when you do it, when you do it. Yeah. No. Um, and then you can only use each of the following effects once per turn. If a monster special from the main deck, special summon this from your hand. If this card is normal, special summon, you can target a face of monster pump control. Special summon a monster with the same. You have a divine beast? No. <laughs> All right, Not no, today. No obelisk right now then. I will then attack your token with uh, Gizmek Uka Uka Wuka. I will then end my turn. I will not draw for reckless greed. Have you walled me? I will set one Have card Have you freaking down walled me? And end my turn. One of the first times I've got my Gizmex out. Oh wow, that was a top deck and a half. I activate Brain Control! No. <laughs> no. No. He could be normal summon. He's a normal guy. Screen, screen. <laughs> what's going on? Pay, uh, pay 800. Pay 800. <laughs> what's your life points at, Duelist? 65.50. Vishuda, attack. Attack in order. Vishuda, attack. I'm saying attack in order. Yeah, yeah. Electromagnetic turtle, take oh, 300. crap. I tried to go for game and I failed. <laughs> He's the one that negates things anyways, right? I could banish him to end your battle phase. Oh, crap. All right, 21. Okay. And then 22. Okay, I will activate golden apples to regain back the same life I took and special summon a 2250 token in defense position. <laughs> it's the same thing, isn't it? 
gain life points equal to attack. It's attack and defense are equal to the amount of life points gained by this effect. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Go ahead, Dillis. I don't draw for reckless greed. Alright. I will. Summon Breaker the Magical Warrior. <sighs> Seriously. I will uh, get a spell counter. I will remove a spell counter to destroy. Minus 800. Under token. Change my 10 U thing to defense. And I will end my turn. All right. Oh, I guess I'll attack your token. I can do that. Yeah, you can. Yu-Gi-Oh! This is crazy. You know what? Mare Mare time! <laughs> Up to thrice per turn. 2250. I will uh, end your battle phase. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Do you I have will, a slide? I will, I will trip you. All oh. of my monster. A special summon. Beast King of Barbaros. Oh no. And I will destroy all cards you control. It's for real? Because I attributed three monsters. Okay. Oh, have you not been taking 300 points of damage? When you put a normal summons or a special summons? So, I... Breaker, and this guy. That's it. 600. Minus 600. Whoops. Um... I'm in trouble, Duelist. <laughs> is that your normal summon? That is my normal summon. I will... <laughs> I can't believe I ended up getting this guy out still. Oh, that's crazy. I will keep my token alive. Minus 600 attack on the token. It can't be destroyed by- I will play Pot of Avarice! No! <laughs> no! Yo, Beast King Barbaros in the house. I'm doing Beast King things. You just freaking obliterated me with Beast King Barbaros. You just look at my graveyard? Are you kidding me? <laughs> like to make oh my more. god. Oh wow, Mare Mare's in there. Targeting. Uh, the Mare Mare of Free. Oh no. Thrice per Up turn. Up to thrice per turn. One, two, three. They don't have to be in defense. <laughs> oh my god. Am I dead? How much defense does that token have? 200. 200 and 300 attack. What type are they? Uh, you, you look oh, probably water. aqua water seahorses. <laughs> That's a tuner. I was wondering if the tokens were tuners. Uh, um, let's see. So you're a level four. I will attack. I am destroyed. I will attack for 3,000, 21, 27, so 67. What am I at? 69? <laughs> wow, 200 life, Hunter! Rare Hunter! <laughs> Go ahead. I will not lose to you! Obelisk, come to me! Holy crap! Soul Crossing! Obelisk the Tormentor! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Are you serious? Oh, holy crap! Destroy! Three monsters, that's four. Three monsters! Did that seriously just happen? Holy crap! That one too. What? Is he special summon? What? Can I have done that during your turn? I think so, but I think you want to attack with that, right? I think I do want to attack, attack with that. Little baby tokens. Oh my god, dude! I just drew Obelisk off the top of my freaking deck. I can't believe that. That's what? Ridiculous. With Soul Crossing in my hand, yo, yo! What the attack for four thousand seven hundred or three thousand seven hundred? Ouch is right, dude. Obelisk is on my side today. I just need to draw. 
I don't know if I have that kind of power. Believe. Yu Gi Oh! Run away. But you don't seem scared, Duelist. <laughs> Why don't you seem scared? What'd you do? You freaking drew Mirror Force? <laughs> Did you seriously draw a Mirror Force? Does he have to? He is half. We don't care. Did you seriously Go draw ahead, a Mirror Duelist. Force? Oh my god, draw. I activate Supply Squad! Once per turn. Oh, it's only once per turn. You're lucky. I summon Ra's Disciple! Oh no. We're not done, Duelist. We're not done. Ra. Ra and Obelisk on my side of the field. That is a scary field. That is a very scary field. I don't know if I would have summoned Ra's Disciple first. <laughs> what? Because Obelisk would have killed me by himself. Unless you have Mirror Force. Why would you summon that in half, in attack position, unless you have Mirror Force? That's what I'm saying, why would- Oh, you're gonna turn him in defense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to, to get around here. But let me see, hold on. What are you at? 22. Requires three tributes. Neither player can target this card with card effects. Once per turn during your end phase, this card special summon. You can tribute two monsters, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Can I, tri can I tribute Ross's Disciples? You can special summon, except for the tribute summon. So I can't use it for, even though it says for the tribute summon of Obelisk, I can't tribute them for Obelisk's effect. That's crazy. That's weird. You would think they'd like you. That, that is weird. So it should say for the tribute summon or effect of Slifer slash yeah. Obelisk. All right, you guys, I'm remembering I'm at 200 life points here. So Rare Hunter's allowing me to position my monsters how he thinks I can attempt to survive. He seems pretty confident, so I'm gonna play around a mirror force. So what I'm doing here is Ra's Disciple is special summoning two monsters. And I'm gonna go for, I need to go for game. So if he has mirror force, he has mirror force. That's basically the way I need to play this. So two's Ra's Disciples will come in in defense position. I can't, if I could tribute them for Fist of Fate, or my, my, my Obelisk's Fist of Fate effect, I could leave Obelisk in defense, destroy the field, but after a reading, the uh, Ra's Disciples, Rare Hunter and I are, are realizing that we can't tribute Ra's Disciple for Obelisk's effect, but you can tribute him for, what's it called? No, summon. Normal summons. So, now what I have to do is leave Obelisk in attack position and just attack the Wyvern for game. So if you have the Mirror Force, it is what it is. Obelisk! You're not even gonna let me attack, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Obelisk, attack into that Mirror Force! Yeah, I mean, either way, though, I have to clear the attack position well, Ross's side. Yeah, and draw. I get a draw from Supply Squad. And so, I, I don't kill you now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you draw a Slifer? Is that really where you're at? Well, any summon the monster. Any, any monster, okay. So, Obelisk is getting obliterated by Mirror Force once again. It's okay, my friend. But it, it's the weirdest thing to me to see an interaction where I can't tribute the Ross Disciples. For the God card. For the God card's that, effect, that, that yeah. That makes zero sense. Yeah, but it's all right. Then I draw one card, because right, Supply Squad only yep. works once. Once per turn. Ouch. <laughs> uh, you have a 300, 200, and you have a... Zero, zero. Zero, zero. All right, so let's say that's the clock, that's the... Okay. All right. Draw nothing. <laughs> that's a good card. Oh, God. You're at 200? I'm at 200. I actually kill you with the 200, 300. Token. No way. <laughs> the Mare Mare token? Attack. Attack. Mare Mare token. For Hold me. on. Do I have Kribo? Kribo! Nimmo <laughs> Alright, alright. I can't. Oh, I wanted to draw a Slifer so Oh, bad. Slifer, dude. To kill it. Oh, man. Where's he at? I was disappointed in that one. Wow. What a freaking game. To die to a Mare Mare token. That was a good game, though. I was pretty happy with that. Electromag Turf. Magnetic turtle coming through. They're coming through, saving your monsters. All right, one more game, Duelist. All right, you guys, game three. Game three. This has gone thrice games. <laughs> After losing that dang Mare Mare token. Thrice games, guys. All right, you guys ready for this? Here we go. I'll go first this time, Duelist. Oh, that's not good. I will overpower your powerful cards. Different Dimension Time Capsule. Ooh, that's a good way to start. That is the best way to start. 
for almost the tournament. You'll never know, because it's face down. And yes, I'm gonna keep my card next to it because you don't have to do that, I'm gonna do it anyway. All right? Interesting. I will normal summon Photon Saber Tiger. Go search for another Photon Saber Tiger, unless you got a Ash Blossom. Definitely have one of those. <laughs> Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler, there we go. I will then set one card face down and end my turn. He drew a really good hand. Draw. Oh, that was the best card I could have drew. What is it? Harvey's Feather Dust or, or layer, layer of Darkness? Oh, God. Darkness. Normal summon. Oh, no. I'll activate effect using your monster to tribute to draw a card. Because my monsters are dark. Because they're dark, and I was going to die attacking into a Forbidden Dress. Or Lance, take your pick. Who could be Chalice? Okay. Oh, boy. I will choose just to draw. All right. All right. Plus one for you. <laughs> you know what? That's kind of cool. Maybe I should do that. Let's activate Swords of Revealing Light. Wow, you have a Swords of Revealing Light in your deck? Good stuff, Duelist. I don't know how I'm going to come back from this. And I will end my turn. You want to attack? Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Ah, uh, part of the cards guide me. I need a b -b 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 brain control. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Draw. That's not a bad card. I'll set one card face down. You will move. Attack for seventeen hundred. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. You've learned your lesson. You've learned your lesson from the Drowning Mirror Force. You don't want to tribute him? Draw a card? Nope. Nope. Good. <laughs> All right, second turn of swords? Yep. But it's the first, second, third turn, whatever, I get this card. <laughs> Different Dimension Time Capsule has arrived. Don't you look. Don't you look. Different Dimension Time Capsule has arrived. For that obelisk, the torment, or the soul thing, if you already had obelisk. I activate! This is a tough one. I don't want you to have any cards, Duelist. Harpy's Feather Duster! Woo! Oh, good thing, man. You had enemy controller. Ouch. Ouch. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Are you ready, Duelist? No. I special summon Evil Mandagora! Uh-oh. I then activate the Monarch's Storm 4. Once per turn, during this turn, if you attribute a monster, attribute for a tribute summon, you attribute one monster. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go for that face down monster over there, Duelist. I then activate Call of the Haunted on Photon. Saber Tooth Tiger. I tribute three monsters. Well, that's the scapegoat. Yeah. And Evil Mandagora. Four. That dang Call of the Haunted's gonna stay there again. All right. Four, Obelisk the Tormentor. Obelisk, attack that little electric cat. <laughs> Take three, 2,300 points of damage, Duelist. You are gonna lose to Obelisk. Let me just see how this works. I'm gonna set that face down and then my turn, Duelist. Obelisk is in the house. What'd you do? You drew Monster Born or something? A soul crossing. You need a slifer. Guard, guard. <laughs> All right. That's a pretty good card against Obelisk. <laughs> At least it lives. <sighs> All Maybe. right. Go ahead. By the way, there's not a, another saber tooth tiger. If you guys were curious on why I didn't activate the additional <laughs> saber tigers, <laughs> Konami didn't want to put three of those in here. Draw. Oh wow. The little perfect time for this card. I activate double summon. Oh, no, oh baby. What are you at? 57. 57. Oh, maybe not. Not yet. I normal summon evil swarm salamandra. And then I 
Double summon Phantom Sabertooth Tiger. I activate Evil Swarm up to thrice, <coughs> up to twice per turn, not thrice, twice. Banish two monsters. Give this guy an additional 600 attack boost until the end of your opponent's turn. All right. Let's see here. You're 1900. Am I not strong enough? Man, you're almost dead. I think you might survive. Let's do the math. With Evil Swarm Salamandra as a 2450 attack card guard. Wow. 2450? Yes. I it, take 550? 550. You're at 5150. Wow. Not yet, Duelist. With Obelisk the Tormentor, I fist of fury that card guard <laughs> right into the grave. Ow. Uh, 24. And then with my little saber tooth. Watch out, watch out. Direct attack for 1200 points of damage. Duelist, it's not looking too hot unless you. <laughs> what do you got, Duelist? Normal summon. All right. Activate effect. Special summon two tokens of defense. All right. I will enter my battle phase. Oh, snap. Tribute this. The defensive play of Reactor Slime. To set Metal Reflex on. So you've created a little bit of a wall there, Mr. Reactor Slime Rare Hunter Slimy Slimy Man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My move? Your turn. yu yo That doesn't help me much right now, but okay, Supply Squad. There we go. Have you used Mirror Force? Well, we know it's not a mirror force. <laughs> it's definitely mirror force. <laughs> it's a mirror force. All right. Salamandra has lost his bonus up to thrice. Twice. Twice. <laughs> All right. Um, attack your slimies. And then obelisk with your fist of fate. End the game. Activate metal. <laughs> okay. See? Konami should have put in God Slime. That would have been epic to see God Slime right now. Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything about that. I think God Slime comes on top of Metal Reflect. Really? Quick effect, or at least during your term effect. Not sure. You kill it, right? Yeah, I'll destroy your 3,000 defense monster with my 4,000 attack. With my supply squad on the field, I say, go ahead, Duelist. Why don't you activate Pablo's effect? He can't attack. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. I was like, confused for a second. I drew, card. A, I drew a great card. Card advance? Look at the top five cards of your deck, then place them on the top in ink order. You can tribute summon in addition to your normal. Oh, that's amazing. You can draw, you can't draw though. So it's not that good, right? Well, I can kind of draw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> you want to show me? You'll see. <laughs> I'll see. What is happening? Awesome. That is how that works. Activate the true name. No. Declare one card. No. What? Okay, so you declare. The, what happens? The thunder attack that he's got. <laughs> you, what, what, no? what is it? What's the, what's the name of the card? Thunder force attack. <laughs> <laughs> I, he forgot what he put on top. <laughs> so thunder force attack. All right. If that is the right card, I can add it to my hand and then either add or special summon one divine beast. So I'll special summon. You could special summon a divine beast. From my deck. What? So you literally just use the best combo in your whole freaking deck? Yeah. That's really how that works. What? I got lucky to find a Thunder Force attack too. Because it could have been anything. Any of the cards would have worked, but that was just the best card I could have got. All right, hold on, hold on. So we'll, we'll I'm do... not losing. Hold on. <laughs> You are not turning this around with two cards. Look at the top five cards of your deck and place them in any order. And put that on top. Declare All right, all right, fine, fine. Take it. I believe you. All right. All right. Thunder Force and a Slifer. So your Slifer's how strong? It is. Okay. So what does Thunder Force do? That's the new question, I guess. Activate Thunder Force attack. <laughs> okay. This card's activation and effect cannot be negated. If you control a monster whose original name is Slifer, destroy as many face-up monsters as you control as possible. 
If activated during my main phase, I can apply the following effect. Draw cards equal to the number of monsters destroyed by this Holy effect. Holy crap. And sent to the graveyard. Okay, but if Slyver's special summon, right? It dies at the end of the turn? Yep. Also, you can only attack with one monster this turn. Okay, one monster's attack. That's That feels good. What am I at, 46? Okay. So, you're literally just destroying my whole field? Just the monsters. Just the monsters. I activate Forbidden Dress. Reduce one of my monsters' attack by 600. Obelisk can't be targeted by cards, so I cannot use Forbidden Dress on Obelisk. I have thought about this many a days. <laughs> <laughs> Forbidden Dress, my evil Salamandra. He's, uh... He doesn't die. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's not destroyed instead of the graveyard, so I don't get to draw that. Alright, so I did something. Very much. And you destroy two of my cards, so I get to draw one, right? Yes, you do. Alright, so I'm still in it. I'm still in it. So we have a 4,000 Slifer instead of 5,000. Thunder Force! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have a 1250 that can't be destroyed by card effects. And you can only attack one monster. How strong is he? Uh, 4,000. Attack. <laughs> With Thunder Force. <laughs> All right, so I take 30, no, 28-ish. Yeah, I'm a 4,000. You're... 1250, so 2750. Wow. Slifer the Sky Freaking Dragon. Once per turn, Supply Squad's not gonna help me out anymore. I will set one trap card face down. Die! Oh, it dies. It dies. Did you draw a mirror force? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Draw! Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. You're at 1550. What are you reading now? <laughs> Relax. You just freaking went off. Activate. My monster reborn targeting Obelisk the Tormentor. Now for the fifth time this game, let's get in a fist of fate for 4,000 damage. Activate Ultimate Divine Beast. What is Ultimate Divine Beast? Discard one spell or trap card, then target a divine meets monster in the grave. Special summon in defense. What? <laughs> ah, Slifer, come protect me. Seriously? <laughs> That's insane. I will discard March of the Monarchs. The special summon, Slifer, in defense position. And the attack is directed to him. And then. Fist of Fear. Oh, you know, this is the first time they've truly battled. The War of the Gods have battled. Obelisk, Fist of Fury! Right. That's it, right? It doesn't do anything else. Let's continue. And so every time I attack, you can get a slide for each turn. Yes. Ultimate Divine Beast. All right, go have your turn, Duelist. <laughs> Drop. Discard one spell or trap, targeted divine. So if you, you can run out of spell or traps, though. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Draw for my turn. Interesting card there. I summon Bazoo the Soul Eater. Oh no. Bazoo, great. eat some souls. Up to three, up to thrice. <laughs> up to thrice. Uh, from your graveyard until the end of your opponent's turn. Let's do one this time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do one. He only time. wants one soul. He's not only bad. wants to eat one soul. Bazoo, attack his monster. I will activate the effect. When it's sent to the graveyard, I can special summon a token. Really? This effect. I'm not, I'm not even using that. It's just hanging out there because I guess I need to use it later. So it does die though, right? It still, it still will die at the end of the turn. Yes, it's a god. but it will destroy all of your monsters that activated their effect this turn. How does, how does it do that? The last sentence, or the second to last sentence. If you told Divine Beast, you can destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls that each activated their effects during this turn. Okay, maybe Bazoo didn't eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, I did it. Obelisk, attack the token. Fist of Fury, whatever. So you don't want to bring back Slifer? Doesn't that save the token? Uh, it will. Oh, but you'd have to discard your your, yeah. your card. So you're 
You're trying to keep your cards alive. I understand, Duelist. We're, we're trying over here. All right, I have my turn. Dude, we're what trying. the frick is this ultimate divine beast card? I guess. I guess huge. <laughs> this guy or this guy? Both of them. Both of them are huge. <laughs> Set, go ahead. Oh, man. <laughs> Yu Yo! Super nimble mega hamster. How many cards are in? Two. Two cards are in. Bazoo! Feast upon the salamandra. <laughs> Gain your souls. All right. Let's have Bazoo attack the monster. Take Holy crap. <laughs> And if Obelisk attacks, you can Obelisk attack. Okay. Wow, you're not discarding your trap. Nimble Monga, attack for game, right? Oh no, 15-50. Yeah, Nimble Monga, attack. I will special summon Obelisk. No, Nimble Monga, don't attack. Don't attack, Nimble Monga. <laughs> don't attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so he'll kill, he would've killed Bazoo there. Bazoo would've died. Like Bazoo's pretty big, kinda need that guy. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Oh, no way. I will activate Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn. On Reactor Slime. Okay, you don't have another Metal Reflex Slime, my friend. No, we are just trying to live at this point. We will create <laughs> two tokens. Two tokens. And I think that's it. That's it? Yeah. Did you have to tribute him to do to two tokens? No. Really? I tribute him to get the other thing. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Three monsters, one monster reborn. That guy is good! Reactor slime in the house. Dude, so you can do a, a three link off of this guy? No, you cannot normal special monsters except Divine Beast monsters. All right, so they, they thought about that a little bit. Yes. But how do you get the extra summon? Interesting. All right. This is it. What's your life? 1550. <laughs> if you summon tokens, I summon tokens. Oh no. The Mare Mare is here. You still have two cards. The Mare Mare has arrived. Yes, it has. Oh man. Alright, play through this turn though with me, okay? So let's try this. Alright. So, I am going to... I'm going to brain control the reactor slime. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I was going to say, does it work out? I think it does. During your main phase, activate the spec. Special summon two slime tokens. It has to be two. Well, and you couldn't normal summon or set anything. So I shouldn't use that anyways. But what I am going to do is well, you, Obelisk. You can still tribute. Uh, oh, yeah. Obelisk, activate your ability. I think this is going to work right. You have to discard one card. This is gonna be close. How strong are these? 500, 500. 500, 500s. All right, I take 800, did you do that? Oh no. <laughs> That's actually pretty important. All right, Obelisk, activate your special ability. I don't think I need to activate a special ability. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. think you need to either. Oh man but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Obelisk, Fist of Fate, tributing two monsters. Destroy his field. Oh no. Obelisk can't attack now. Obelisk can't attack and you're at 1550, right? Yes. <laughs> I summon Ra's Disciple. Not Ra coming in clutch with the slaps at the end. Oh, no. With the slaps at the end. Here we go, Duelist, looking death in the face. Bazoo, eat some souls! <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to face Slifer? Does it, Obelisk get a second attack to face the almighty Slifer? He sure, he sure does. <laughs> a thousand thousand Slifer has appeared on the field. The War of the Gods! 
Slifer got obliterated. <laughs> if that didn't happen that way, we can have Rona Ra's little guys. We can fight that Slifer. Either way, the man, the MVP of the hour, Bazooie the Soul! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was a good game. Good game, Duelist. Good game. Destroying, <laughs> obliterating Obelisk. the rare hunter. Obelisk was hot that game. Dude, how many times did you bring out Slifer, though? That was like crazy. Five times. That was great. Three obelisks, three five slifers. That was fun, guys. This trap card, though, is Thunder Force is actually pretty impressive. No, this one. Yeah, the yeah. Ultimate oh, Ultimate Beast. Beast. Yeah, that was fun, dude. The Thunder Force was crazy. Dude, I can't believe that. Harpy's Feather Duster was pretty nice too. Oh though, man. man. Yeah, that was that was nice. This is a pretty cool little combo they got though. The Thunder thing. Yeah, Thunder Force, the, the, the true, true name, true name the with advance. the card advance, yeah. I mean, even just those two is really what it is, and then it could be any card in there you grab. But yeah. I mean, with that's even better. And then with my combos here, um, I just bring out little beasts and eat their souls. That's basically what <laughs> that's what my. Because you can do that with either one of those. The, the one card I didn't use here was Divine Evolution. This card's effect can be negated, but I don't really. I don't understand the point of this one, guys. So if you guys know the point of that one, let me know. But. This would be the one card, I think, in our in this deck that I did not get to play. Yeah, so we had a couple cards you guys didn't see, but overall, those were some pretty epic freaking duels, you guys. That was fun. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get the slide for the obelisk on the field. Let's, sh let's show them off real quick. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. This was pretty... It's fine. It's a pretty freaking epic duel, guys. This is a pretty epic duel. Uh, overall, Obelisk came in with his multiple fists of fate and whatever other moves he had. That was pretty fun, guys. Um, thank you for being here. This was War of the Gods. A couple big, big duels. These decks are pretty even. Slifer's, uh, what's it called? This field spell? Layer of Darkness. Layer of Darkness is pretty broken. But if you're able to play around it, I think I Harpy Feather Duster did, right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, so I mean, Harpy's Feather Duster was able to destroy it. But if you can't get rid of that card, you guys, that is trouble. Trouble and a half. I think I fist of faded at one game too, maybe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so if you're able to destroy that, I think the decks are pretty even. But if not, I think that Slifer deck has a real advantage on the Obelisk deck, especially with your you have synergy. Your cards have more synergy. Mine I feel like are more like toolbox, like figure us out or. You I think your lose. cards are standalone better. To yeah. Where they don't need other cards to where mine. Oh, like my like my Raws just coming out yeah, on the field. Raws just doing their thing. The combo with the fairy was pretty good. The four the four star combo bringing out a Raws disciple as a four star fairy. Yeah. And that's that's pretty good tributing from the uh, Forbidden Chalice girl. That was probably the coolest combo my deck has. Um, I kind of ruined that game one though by having two of my Raws in my hand. That, that was, was terrible. That, <laughs> that was interesting. But yeah, you guys. Hopefully, you guys got to see a lot of what these decks can do. That was pretty awesome. Konami, thank you for creating a War of the Gods for for us to do this with because that was one of our most popular YouTube videos. I think that was definitely something interesting. Hopefully, you guys can see Simply Alex again. But thank you, Rare Hunter, for being here. That was an epic, epic duel. And uh, also, I'm happy you got your slimes, your little slime tokens <laughs> out. That was I had a great time and. Uh... I'd love to be back anytime. Yes, you guys. Maybe we can do some more meta duels. Rare Hunter here knows his stuff about the metas, and maybe I can bring some guys in with some more meta decks. But yeah, you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more insane and definitely godly Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And simply unlucky signing out.